It's not very often you see an armed robber bust out an AR with a drum mag. Hi everyone, I'm John Correa, your host here at Active Self Protection. Thank you for joining us today. Today's video comes to us from Houston, Texas in the US. Today's video is brought to you thanks to Magtech Ammunition, the official ammunition supplier for all range activities of active self-protection. So you can see our robber parked his car a little ways away from the entrance, which doesn't seem very smart to me, but he's got a duffel bag in his hand. When he runs in, he actually pulls a rifle out of there and a pretty significant AR-15 here with what looks like a Magpul D60 drum magazine in it. Now he's trying to stick the muzzle underneath the place where the clerk gets the money from folks. And notice here now he is futzing with his gun. He's trying to figure out, wait, how do I charge this gun? How do I get it to run right? So he finally runs the charging handle here, but he still doesn't understand how to get this gun to operate. So he's holding it left-handed, kind of getting around, trying to see what this clerk is doing. We don't actually get to see what the clerk's doing here, where he's trying to now leverage underneath there and get the muzzle pointed at him. I'm pretty sure that that glass that's on that, that uh, around that clerk is not rated for rifle fire, but the bad guy doesn't know that. And when he can't get this gun to operate correctly, he can't figure out how to get it off safe and do those things, he just picks up his bag and decides to go home, jumps in his car, and runs off. As far as I know, cops are still looking for this Nimrod, so if you have any information, call them. Links in the description. That's where this one ends. Pretty crazy stuff altogether, and a lot of lessons for us to think about out of this one. If you want more from Active Self Protection, one of the best ways you can do that is joining us on our Facebook page. Just load up your app, search Active Self Protection, hit that like button. Help us get over 300,000 likes over there on Facebook, would you? Let's think about lessons out of this one. So first of all, I think bad guys are stupid, and that's a good thing, but recognize that you know he pulls in with this big old duffel bag, and then announces the robbery and shows the gun. Now, that's not exactly what we call the world's greatest concealment, but it worked for him. Bad guys announced their presence at the last moment, and this little bit of deception, just sticking the gun in a big old duffel bag, gives it enough camouflage that people are not going to see it, identify it, and be able to make a plan in advance for it. So recognize that especially in these uh, convenience stores, transitional spaces, the bad guy gets to set the attack and he will only tell you about it at the last moment. You better keep your gun on you and be ready in that moment to use it. Now notice as well, again, this is a, a fairly well put together AR. This guy's got a modern AR with what looks like a modern uh, low power variable optic on it. But notice here that he is trying to kind of dig the muzzle underneath uh, to, to be able to point the muzzle directly at his victim. Now, I don't think that this glass is rated for rifle, but this guy doesn't know that. So most bad guys are pretty dumb when it comes to firearms, and that's what we see on the channel all the time. A lot of not very good. They're not very many gun folk that are gonna end up you know, trying to rob places or whatever, but you, you better make sure that you're prepared for that guy too. But notice here that he's pretty stupid, and that's an indicator of that, which might give you the ability to get ahead. Now, notice here he's trying to figure out how to use a stupid gun and he can't figure out how to get the gun to operate correctly. This is a great opportunity here to launch a counter ambush. I know as a self-defender, again, here in this particular case, the clerk's like, hey man, I'm not gonna futz with this guy. I'm just gonna stay behind my glass or whatever. If your glass is rifle rated, great. But otherwise, if you're a customer in the store or you don't have that glass and those kinds of things, really important here to know when's my counter ambush time. It's when he's messing with the gun. And that works for an active killer incident as well. You know, if one of these guys comes in with a rifle, you hear that rifle go out of battery or you see him trying to futz around with the thing and figure out how it works. Now's the time to launch your counter ambush. Go get him. Now he charges the charging handle and notice that if somebody came in here and just wanders into the store with a dude, you know, robbing the joint. But also I want you to pay attention to the fact that I don't know how he got a hold of this gun, but it actually looks like a fairly decent firearm. You can see right there what looks to me to be a Magpul D60, uh, you know, a 60 round drum magazine. Looks like he has some kind of variable optic on there, but it is all about the operator, not about the tool. And this guy doesn't have the ability to run that gun. So honest truth. I don't care how much you spend on a gun and I try to you know, buy good equipment myself, but you can buy the best equipment in the world and if you don't know how to use it, well then you look like this idiot and thankfully this guy is an idiot and is not you know, trained up well. I wouldn't even say this guy's on the JV team. He's like you know, on the intramural freshman squad here and thankful for that. But notice here as well that he finally just gets fed up and decides to run off. So this one's not gonna make it into any kind of statistics or anything like that. But this dude committed aggravated assault on the clerk multiple times here. And, and the clerk made it out and it was fine and it was safe and okay, great, worked out well. I would prefer, of course, 
that that we be armed in that sense ourselves to end that threat more quickly and not depend on him just getting tired of things. But worked out okay in this instance. Thankfully, that dummy doesn't know how to operate an AR-15 and ran off and got nothing. And that's how this one ends.